Hello and welcome to 7F5R Live on Instagram. This is the 48th episode of this series. It is currently the 24th of August 2022, currently 2.45pm on a sunny Wednesday afternoon here in Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're watching this live or as a recording. My name is Stephanie Jennifer, I am a CZT21, and in just a bit, I'll be joined by my co-hosts Debbie New, CZT18, and Susan Yo, CZT Asia too. We're so happy today. Hi Debbie, hi, hi Susan. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> Sorry, no sound. Hello, no. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, recording of today's session uh, as with all our, of our other Instagram live sessions uh, will be made available on our Instagram page at Seven Forest Five Rivers and also on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash c slash seven and five R studio. If you would like to follow our personal accounts on Instagram, Debbie is at hangout.pursuits, Susan is at susanyo.czt, and I am at halfpen underscore will draw. These weekly Wednesday live sessions are we feature prompts from the 7F5R Challenge group on Facebook. You can join the group, it's free. You just have to answer some security questions so that we know that you're not a bot. You can search 7F5R Challenge directly in your Facebook search bar or go to this link to find the group. So yeah, lots of fun. Uh, we're having a different string for today and we're also having a, a, a featured tea and tangle Tangle of the week, tangle of the day, uh, fun tangle by me, a tangle called Low Vera. But first, let's go through our materials. And as we're going through our own materials, you can sort of take out your materials if you would like to tangle along with us. Susan, what are you using today? Okay, I'm prepared three tinted towels. Wow, so this is the one that this is the one that I tinted very long ago, and this is the one that just got it. Uh, this afternoon before the, the live mm -hmm. uh, with the help of the little boy <laughs> oh. okay <laughs> then I prepare some of the jerry roll and also the koi brush pen mm -hmm. and so the grey series uh, moonlight the grey tan yeah alright yeah, that's my pretty material today oh yeah then using grey also uh. okay then I shouldn't okay, <laughs> then back my we can use together what uh. <laughs> uh, no yeah. la. I think give people more Thank variety you. to look at, right? Yeah. Because mine is also a uh, watercolor, so mine is actually a uh, purple cabbage eco dye. Mm. I think, I think this is a stress more. Uh, this one I forgot to write. Put on most of them. I think this is a stress more five hundred hundred percent cotton. Um, hot press, I think. Yeah, so it's quite smooth. Um, I'm very fascinated with this piece because um, I never expected it to turn out like that, basically. Yeah, so eco dye. The fun thing about eco dyeing is that it comes out like uh, when you first splash the, the eco dye on, right? It's like very light and then as it dries, it darkens, you know? So it's very interesting um, to see. Yeah, so I have my Micron PN, my Micron 01, couple of uh, jelly rolls, White Jerry Rose 10 and 8. I think my 10 is from Susan Yo actually. And then I have... I think I have a couple of silver shadows that I'm trying to finish. And also a very cranky silver metallic pen. We'll see how much use uh, we, we can get out of them. I also have my koi brushes. Mm. I also mm. want to show an eco dye towel that I'm working on. This one is Debbie Tinted. So the back actually looks nicer than the front. So I started on the back. <laughs> and then I oh, maybe it's to con front. you to use the back. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's the plan. That's the plan all along. So yeah, this is not for any challenge. This is just uh, for personal enjoyment. This is a personal challenge. Mm, personal challenge. Yeah, it was actually to like think about how I would draw. <laughs> 
what way I would start. So I started from actually this large loner and then I slowly added the fragments. And then I thought since I use like square fragments uh, in triangle fragment here, I could do triangle and square fragments. And then So you're uh, doing F Y I C yeah. This is like this in is August. Like, yeah, that one person later. the no 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 is the that one person who like started doing Inktober hangers but like twenty twenty one in preparation for Inktober hangers twenty twenty two. So this is the warm up, you know? Twenty twenty. Oh <laughs> Okay. Very hard working. Maybe they finish twenty twenty one. So they're like, let me go to the previous <laughs> So So actually the the towel that Stephanie is holding, right? It's actually mm. uh the same tinted in the same batch as the one on my desk. So, so the different paper uh, results in different, uh, even though it's the same echo dye, it's like a different paper results in different colors. And then mm. this is my second batch. So I upgraded. Can you see I'm gold good. shimmer? Uh, oh, this no. is uh, purple cabbage echo dye with um, Lindy's Gang glitzy gold. And uh, as you can see, the color varies. So I have like a purple and then a dark blue. Actually, it's all the same echo dye. This one was very smelly though, I have to admit. Like uh, <laughs> one of the one of the downsides of Echo Dye is that my husband cannot stand it. <laughs> yeah, it stinks. He says it stinks. For him to say it stinks is really bad. Well yeah, I guess come when I make like cabbage soup and like so like Oh, who farted? Ah? No, like, it's not fun. Like. No, this is decomposing, so, you see. This is oh, decomposing. No. Yeah, so it's yeah, even worse. Just... Mm, so it's like who omitted? <laughs> The cats <laughs> point the cats. The cats are like, no, it's mummy. <laughs> Excuse <So> me. <laughs> okay, and then for for me, I'm using um a seven F I R tile with uh Lindy's gang magicals on it. I think this was one episode where I was trying to use more adventurous colors that might not uh be my first choice. Was orange and purple hmm, kind of an uh, interesting choice? <laughs> and then you add green to it. Yeah, so I thought I could do a what six because I was inspired by the little plastic zensel that Debbie used in one of her Instagram reels recently. Like, Actually, oh, you I have seen it before, you know? Yeah, I know, I know. You, I know, yeah. I remember. Actually, you have access to all my stencils in the office. Okay. Right? Did I bring them home? Okay, no, I can't no, remember. It's, it's in a round gold yeah. team. I remember. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to use this as a what seeds and then we'll see how it goes. I'm going to channel my inner Debbie. <laughs> what? Yeah. Susan, do you want to share to this string? the same. <laughs> ah, okay, very good. <laughs> Would you like to share to this string, Susan? Oh, I have it here. I have okay. it here. See? Ta-da! Mm. Is it? Tiny little, <laughs> the little square. zen steel. Yeah. Oh, so that's I how she got the jaw step up. Yeah. It's smaller than a biju, no? It's very cute, see? Yeah. It's cute. smaller than a biju. Can you see her? Can, can see. Yeah, Mine is bigger than, than a biju. Mine is bigger than a biju. Siasu so yeah, so is not inner Debbie, yeah. It is what? Inner Debbie. It's, it's pirated. Pirated. Pirated, yeah. My, my, how, Debbie can do freehand what seat. I have to have a stencil to do what seats. Okay. Yeah, I also sorry. use stencil, what? Oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay. Susan. Most of the time, what? most of the time. <laughs> What's the string? Use another towel, what? No. Why? Okay, so then go. What's the string? Eh? I can't believe I know. Okay. The string, uh, actually Three this string was planned lines. for, oh, it's planned for last, last week. week. But then last week, we used another one. Then when I saw uh, this we week, the Tuesday Tangle, then, whoa, it matched very well <laughs> with the tangles that we are going to draw today. Uh, so it's a tree parallel line so you can have a really parallel or if let's say you want to have a diagonal you can have it or you want to maybe make one or two become a curvy line you can do that also so it's uh, up to but you if it's just a three parallel line. line how is it a curvy line uh More anyway we parallel. always we can you can just Change yourself, right? Change then as you let like. It, let it. Let it. Mm. not parallel, liao. Okay, la, Then you want to use the ruler to measure. I don't know. I didn't come up with this problem, la. <laughs> Yeah. So I come parallel. up with this problem. So the parallel can be not really parallel. <laughs> no. This is <laughs> <answer, laughs> 
Con money one. Three parallel yeah. lines, but not parallel. Okay, mm. very good. Mm. Very good. Then today's featured tangle is one of my tangles called Loe Vera. Like Aloe Vera, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was not inspired by an Aloe Vera, unfortunately. Then why do you call it that? I don't know, because it looked like, look like Aloe Vera. Ayoh. I remember last time in Debbie's previous house, she, she had this Aloe Vera plant. I still have it, what? Yeah, like, you still have it, like, but now it's not. It's what is it last time? No, last time it was in the corridor. Then she oh. said the aloe vera, other people's aloe vera go upwards. Then this aloe vera very naughty, go outwards. Then in the corridor, she said, I must tie up the aloe vera, otherwise... Can you see? I think you can see it from her. It's there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> it grows very outwards. So, so yeah, she, that's she, that's the aloe vera. Uh, it it has to live in a box. <laughs> so or it's else it will, it will probably jab somebody. See how mm. wide it is. Naughty yeah. plants get put in the naughty box. Yeah. Okay, back here. Let's hope I don't break this then. So, how many have I broken so far? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so Lovera is a ribbon tangle. So you start off with uh, parallel lines and then you draw the little stock. Uh, let me just draw it for you. Or rather draw it with you. Draw it for you. Oh, come, come, draw for me. Then I need to draw you. Can, can. So parallel lines. I like to draw my lines slightly curvy. You can have yours completely straight if you want. And then you have the little starting points. And then from there... It always returns to that bottom start of the starting points. So like Susan said, it's a nice tangle for today's stream because the parallel lines of can be self-explanatory, right? Curvy line one. wall. Wall. Not, not quite parallel wall. Fake one. Uh. Yeah, fake parallel. The aloe vera also curvy line wall. She's going to say the aloe vera also fake one because no, it's not a real... <laughs> <laughs> So depending on what kind of tie you have, you know, how you want to draw your string, maybe you want to follow along as we draw, maybe you want to go on your own little artistic adventure, that's perfectly fine as well. How do you vary your tangle? Uh? Cannot oh, vary. All look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the instructions. How to vary your tangle? We got no I examples for us. No leh. So very I always huh? my my thought was that if let's say you draw the the initial starting points far away enough from each other, maybe this part can be a triangle fragment. Wow, have to draw so big then can fit there. You asked for suggestions? I gave you suggestions. Yeah, Susan, but it's your tangle, so you should be the one coming out with Queen her. Queen of Frank Queen of Variations. What do you see with Lovera? How to vary? I'm still thinking of <laughs> Maybe Lovera. Maybe draw it in opposite side? Don't know. I haven't tried before. No, I cannot. Oh, because the idea is... Side, uh. The idea oh. is that it's meant to connect. Oh, oh okay. You can still connect, what? What like this, uh? You can still connect, what? See, yeah, I should never play with her. No longer like a uh, aloe vera. Yeah. 
It's okay upside like, down aloe vera. Aloe vera is not an aloe vera. <laughs> aloe vera. It looked like an aloe vera, but it's not from the the tango was not inspired yeah, see, by she, an aloe vera. She admit that it's not already. Uh. Okay, so la, then draw we can... upside down. Mm. It's it's like drawing muka muka also not supposed to be very. It's just muka. <laughs> Not supposed to be what? Not supposed to be very. It's just buka. Oh, varied. 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 Not supposed to be. Varied. Varied. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this, this week is bad English week. Varied. Varied. Mm, Is my fan very noisy? Because I cannot hear. Like a low hum. Not that bad. But my fan is not... Okay, wait, let me try and shift it. Ah. Oh yeah, my, my, my string. Maybe I shall cheat a bit. Maybe I shall do the string inside the what seats. Is it better like that or worse? It's not noticeable. But but there is a hum. That is the jet plane. That one I cannot change. <laughs> hum. Off the hum. That one is very noisy. It's, that one I really cannot change. It's like that I'm beyond my control. It's like that one time I was taking a nap. Then I told my husband, Alex, can you switch off the sun? Then you really want to look for a remote, you know, to switch off the sun. <laughs> and then you think about it for a while. He's like, Hey! <laughs> Very good. Next time he don't want to listen to you anymore. God, I, I sleep help talk, you, you know. but then... I sleep talk, you know. That one time I told him, can you please bring the cows inside the house? He, okay. <laughs> and then let me continue sleeping. I see very strange things sometimes when I sleep. I see very strange things sometimes when I'm awake or so. so it's not too... Yeah, so how is that sleep talk? I'm not aware lah. It's just the next day. Don't, do you know what you said in your sleep last night? <laughs> what should I draw? Mm. But yeah, you do say very strange things. Mm, I do say very strange things. Yeah. <sighs> My yeah, Lovera very fat eh. Oh, good lah. It's well fed. <laughs> well watered. You have watered your crops well. A bit too fat, or for oh, no, I don't know. How Emma, it's okay. Am I done with symphony? Or do I want to use it again? Use okay. Lovera and symphony, uh, so your petals can be Lovera. The petals can be Lovera. You need the, the spaces in between Lovera, uh, symphony, is it? Yeah, like, you add on petals. Uh. Okay, I try. Quite nice, what actually? Then you do. If you think about it. You no, do. no. <laughs> you outsource the job. It's nice. I think I have my enough vision already. For now, that's why I'm thinking like, am I done with it or do I still want to draw it? This I have enough because drawing? I did a swap with five people. Oh yeah. Okay, finish. Got it out of my system. <laughs> enough. For now, enough. <laughs> too much. Too many. So funny. Susan was very nice. She delivered a birthday cake to the studio to celebrate my birthday today. No, not, it's not today. It's tomorrow. But she sent me the cake so I can celebrate it. So thank you, Susan. You're welcome. Hope you're enjoying. Chocolate cake. How do I draw? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, the B, you want to ask questions? Do I want to ask questions? Mm. Do you? <laughs> you just asked me a question. <laughs> okay, then it's question one. <laughs> Moving on to question have... two. <laughs> well, if, if that is question one, then I've got five more questions. I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then the, the blog for this session will be, today we will ask whether we want to ask questions. <laughs> Okay, okay, enough nonsense, come. 
What's what's the fine question? Which order are we going? Should we go backwards? I don't today? know. Yeah, whatever we'll order you uh. want. Uh. We start from five this week. Start from five. Mm. Is that why? Oh, okay. Number five is quite a quite a quite an interesting question. Okay. Um, what would you like to be remembered for after you have died, and why? Mortality. My nonsense. <laughs> so is that your answer? I, I don't know. That's acceptable answer. <laughs> this is part of her nonsense, also. Do you know? Okay, funny thing about about no. um, French. Eh? No, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I was born in France, and I lived there until I was six. Then I stopped speaking the language, so I, I learned Mandarin and English in Singapore. So. Even though technically French is my first language, I am only fluent in English and Mandarin. How and is that related to the question? Just listen, yeah. just stick, stick with me first. Stick with me first. <laughs> I can still remember some oh, specific no. French words and all of them are related to my mom being exasperated with me. For example, I can remember the French word for nonsense. <laughs> I can remember the French word for stop it. <laughs> I can't remember the French word for please. <laughs> so please stop it. Please stop your nonsense. Yes. <laughs> so even as a child, both nonsense. <laughs> Those are our most frequent use. <laughs> mm, yes. No and nonsense and stop it. Very good. Huh? Mm, very good. Oh, hey. How is it yeah, really hold on, lah. <laughs> 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 really really ah. really Nobody believe you anymore. How do I want to be? Remember? I will want to be remembered as someone that's kind. Mm. I would want to be remembered, hopefully for my art, because that's what I do. Well, most want... artists are only famous after they are dead, right? Oh. <laughs> Don't let that me. <laughs> no, but it's true. Well, ah. Okay, but if, if let's say we all die and I then mean, we get famous they, after they death, will you, feel, famous... will you feel huh? sad? Will you feel sad? Like, you die, then you look I'm down. I'm dead, really? How do you feel sad? You're in heaven, but then you look down. Uh, <laughs> then you're like, yeah, now then you no, like, I think, famous. I think what? I wouldn't be bothered already, you know? Like, oh, you're just happily yeah, never... like whatever. <laughs> you know, yeah, just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. You know the Chinese, I... the Cantonese say, ah, mo gao or gao, yeah. <laughs> I would want to be remembered as a friend, mm. like a good friend to people. Mm. I have I an think... answer also. Okay, yeah, go go ahead. So the question is, what would you like to be remembered for after you have died and why? Mm. Mm. Firstly, I should say that I don't die yet. Mm, very good. <laughs> Secondly, no I will no say friends. that I don't want people to remember me after I've died. Please let why? me go. <laughs> why? Because, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh, the, person has, the person has transcended into a different realm. Right, uh-huh. finally got some peace and quiet. And oh. then you and uh, have to listen to you crying over the person. Eh? Like, <laughs> are you enough, really, or not? I, I think I told you this joke before. I was saying, I watched the drama series, right? Then they were like crying and like the dead person's body. Then you'd be like, ah, sing, uh, come back. Uh. Then I always like, tell my mind, wouldn't it be funny? Uh. Like, the dead person just like, sit up. <laughs> then you'd be like, ah! <laughs> right. So my my happy. point is that the person peace. passed on really. the person Maybe. finally has peace and quiet, right? And then uh, have to listen Maybe, to you yeah. crying, no? Come back, uh. Yo, I think uh, I, I I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't think that is my idea of uh, then, peace. Then you you don't want people to come visit you at like the well Singapore the grave grave graveyard like we have like columbi- columbariums, right? You don't want people to visit you. But I don't think I'll be hanging out there also leh. Like <laughs> if you are dead, <laughs> you think about it ah. Uh, out there and, and and you are a spirit form, right? Uh, what, what I'm trying to be. Like, I'm trying to be like secular, right? Uh, sure, so, so sure. If you are dead, yeah. And let's say you have a spirit form, uh, mm. 
Mm. Why the heck will you hang around, around the the thing maybe, for what? You be you be enjoying for yourself first, going elsewhere what? Maybe for the first few days you just sort of chill out at the columbarium and like get to know your name. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I always wonder. I, I don't. Think I always so, wonder eh. like. I, I remember asking my mother, you know, like, what if you don't if you die, then your urn is there in the columbarium? What if you don't have your neighbors? Then you cannot tell anybody to, like, shift don't you. Don't stay there, la. You can go elsewhere, wa. I don't know. <laughs> for, for the first time ever, you can walk through walls you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be upset at your neighbor. Because <laughs> you're petty. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you see, uh, you live through petty uh, human nature, right? So human nature is petty, right? We we live in the now and then we we have all kinds of uh, feelings Reverses, and yeah. emotions and and we fight with people and then we make friends and then sometimes one day we are no longer friends and stuff like that. So it's petty, lah, right? Then when you are a spirit, you are so petty. Still then petty. when yes. do you ever... Consistency is key. Is, is... Consistency is key. <laughs> Be petty for everyone. Towards everyone. Susan, what do you want to be known for? Okay, I think what I want people to remember is my laughter. Okay. Forget about all my nonsense. <laughs> Just remember no. the laughter. Mm, then you will be very happy. <laughs> no. Okay, la, then every Why time yo? <laughs> people miss you, they just watch our live show. Ah, can. <laughs> yeah, can. All the nonsense and then all the laughter. Mm. Very good. And so no remember when, when you are boring about it, just switch on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Why your laughter? Why? Uh? Mm. Because it will make you happy. Or maybe you feel that you luckily this kind of person doesn't have, doesn't exist in my world. <laughs> they will be very grateful to whoever you have, whoever around you. <laughs> so drama one. Huh? Why drama? Yeah, sound like some drama like that, yo. Hey, because it's something like uh if you like this kind of laughter, then you say, mm, okay, when I listen to it, when I heard it, then it make me happy. Then if you don't like this kind of laughter, then you say, hey, hey uh, this kind of person. <laughs> yeah. So it's the jian xiao. Um, uh. Not the jian xiao. That's, it's my laughter is jian xiao, no like. It's a crazy laughter. Maybe some people feel that it's jian xiao. Oh. <laughs> well, remember jian xiao is like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 what a way to what a way to start off our Instagram live session today. Mm, wonderful. So mm, very good. Stephanie Who wants you to choose to be, the fifth question first? <laughs> Stephanie wants to remember for <laughs> nonsense, which is on on brand, yeah. Debbie don't want to remember, please go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Susan just here for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I said can... watch the live show or okay, can really because you will mm. you will encapsulate everything uh. mm. First there will be your nonsense, secondly there will be Susan's laughter, and then Debbie will be like, go away la. <laughs> <laughs> So very on very very consistent. <laughs> so, uh, the can... <laughs> so poor thing Debbie feels so harassed that only in death can she find peace. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> finally, finally, uh, the online uh, <laughs> I'll be the person at her funeral. You shut up, like, don't cry. Uh. <laughs> She's supposed to rest in peace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> okay, question number four. <laughs> what a way to start. Okay. Well, you are the one chose number five. I didn't <laughs> say anything. Yeah. The only way is up now. Okay, so actually, Stephanie partially uh, responded on this question. Really. Oh, okay. Partially. But she I'm cannot stupid. use back her... She cannot yeah. pretend and then take back her answer for what she said you know, earlier to use. I feel very... con. <laughs> I don't know. You chose this sequence, not me. Oh. Okay, do you think in a default language or dialect? And what is it? And why do you think it's a habit? Yeah. Who wants to go first? 
Stephanie, yeah, because you already partly answered your... Oh. But I don't think in English. I think in... Uh, you don't think full stop. So bad. That was four years ago. <laughs> now we got character development already. Yeah, I'm online. Enough trauma already. Yeah. <laughs> Enough trauma already. <laughs> I think in abstract ideas and visual images. So my internal... I, I mean, I do have an internal monologue. And it is in English. But when I think of things, it's not in words it's in shapes yeah and apparently it's not true for everyone some people don't have uh, mental images like when you tell someone but that is a language also uh. shapes are a language also uh. your own yeah. language huh? yeah fair enough yeah so yeah. for a very long time I actually struggled very much to like process my emotions because I didn't know how to change the ideas that I had in my head into proper sentences that I could then give to the person I was talking to so that was that was uh a journey in itself. Yeah. Apparently, it's not it's not true that everyone sees mental images, you know. I was very shocked to find out that. Like, when you start with someone, like, oh, imagine a red apple on a table. There are some people that don't have a visual image in their head at all. And then some people have very clear image of a red apple on a table and they can describe the scene to you. Right? So it's interesting. I thought, like, that's, 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 I think that's the imagination as well. La. Mm, 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 correct. Not so, not everyone has a good imagination or a vivid uh imagination, you know. Mm, I didn't know ma. So that was like news to me when I found that. Yours is too vivid. Yeah, mine is too vivid, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is too vivid. Sometimes <sighs> someone says something that I go, Oh my goodness, the mental image not very nice. Or it's a funny No, she will image. start laughing by herself, the scary Yeah, yeah, part. that's true. <laughs> Yeah, uh, default language is English. Sometimes there are Chinese words that are more appropriate for my thought process than, than like for example, the Chinese word for "xiang." English does not really have a proper word what for it. Tiang? Like, that sensation that you get in your nose when you eat wasabi. It's not spicy, it's just kind of prickly. Susan, that is "xiang" meh? Yeah, yeah, there's a chiang. Mm. Chiang bi. Mm, chiang bi. Mm. It does so la. Uh, not la la. Uh, not, not just la. It's like um, a sensation. Just like the, the way you, when you eat the wasabi, it suddenly just hit your nose like that. Mm. The, mm. So English don't have that word. So there are some ideas or concepts that. I'm sure English don't have that word. If there is, you let me know. La. <laughs> okay, I'll date me next week. But yeah. I don't eat wasabi. Or pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I like, but I cannot eat. It, yeah. it, it makes me lightheaded afterwards. Pudding. But yeah, I like to eat wasabi when I have a blocking nose. There's a friend that <laughs> taught me this. When you oh. have a blocking nose, then try wasabi. <laughs> you, you, know why, uh, you know why you shouldn't eat too much? Because it is a blood thinner. Mm. All the yeah. root so it, yeah. Mm, no, this carrot. one is particularly strong. Oh. Yeah, so it's a blood thinner. So if mm-hmm. you're, for example, you are, you know, uh, we all women, we have money bleeding, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Better to avoid. If not, you will really bleed a lot and then you will be very light after it. Medical advice. You will feel faint. Non non professionals, please don't. <laughs> well, I mean, it, Stephanie didn't believe me also at first. Carrot, carrot. Mine was carrot. Well, carrot the juice. wasabi is actually the horseradish is somewhat related to the carrot family also. Mm. Mm. Anyways, I think mostly in English. Sometimes in Mandarin. Yeah, <laughs> don't think mostly. Yeah, mostly it's just abstract blob shapes and all. <laughs> So yeah, so there's like a... Oh, I remember like when I was in school, then I used to do Chinese. This is not actually related ah, to like no. the, the question, but it's a funny story. I do Chinese um, exam papers, right? Then there'll be like comprehension text. So it's like one whole is text. Is this of... you or the chocolate talking? Me, me. The chocolate Me, me. me, me. me, me. The chocolate. I, haven't eaten, I haven't eaten the cake. Oh. The cake then, <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> then I would write notes in English on top of the... The Chinese text and then my teacher was like why, why is that then I'm like cause I read the Chinese text but I process my thoughts in English so the notes are in English then she looked at me like she, she don't know what to say to 
<laughs> but it helps, wa. If it helps, it does, you, it does. then she does, shouldn't say anything, wa. See, she just say, <laughs> she's like this weird child. <laughs> no, la, but bless, it helps, Bless wa. the teachers. Okay. Bless the understand. teachers that deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I I never I don't don't know lah. I I was very unlucky when it came to Chinese teachers in school. What the? Then I I think I had like very nasty Chinese teachers. So yeah. they would love to pick on me until I I get a trauma. You know, like hmm. uh, different kinds of trauma. And then and then right um after that it's like they will they will do things to make the entire class laugh at me. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, then gradually I I had a Don't trauma, change. and then I decided that I'm not gonna bother lah, you know, with Chinese mm. because at that time in in those days, right? Um, I think Chinese wasn't as important as it is now. Mm, they had yeah. the the government program to try to get people to speak more Mandarin or uh, mother tongue, pardon me, because there's Bahasa and Hindi as well. Tamil, Tamil, pardon me. Hindi and Tamil are both offered. Mm, they yes. are both offered. So yeah. Depending. Mm. Well that's how that's also how I, I lost uh French as well. I had this uncle when I first came to Singapore. Then he's like, Why is he still speaking French? French is useless in this country. And then like, I don't he know. He is useless. He, <laughs> he cannot speak anything. He cannot speak <laughs> French. He can't even speak positive words. <laughs> So, more so my, my brain at six years old latched onto that and it's just like okay, let's just forget the French that we have. So see must watch what you say around kids. Don't know what their brains will latch on onto. Yeah. Susan, how about you? My what? first language is Mandarin and mm-hmm. uh, actually I find that it's quite fortunate that because during my primary school I was in the uh, Chinese primary school. Then when I uh, go to the secondary school, it's a government school, which is uh, the main language is a Malay. So all of the science and maths, all the history subject is all in Malay. Then when I, after I finished my uh, secondary five, I went to poly in Singapore. So it's English. So, but I, I found that my, I was still process the, the Chinese in my brain <laughs> when I talk. Yeah. So, uh, like, I think for Malaysia in Sing- and Singapore, we like a roja. <laughs> we always mm. mix together. Mm. Yeah. So, I even mix with Malay and uh, English, all those things. Yeah. And sometimes uh, when, hmm? yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Even sometimes when we talk in uh, Mandarin, right, we still mix with uh, English because uh, some of the technical words, for example, last time I studied uh, programming, some of the words are, uh, even we speak in Mandarin, we still mix it with uh, uh, English because we do not know how it say in the Mandarin. So nowadays, if we talk to a pure Chinese speaking uh, country like Taiwan and China, when they talk about some of the specific term in Chinese, we, we can't understand also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I cannot say that what is the, 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 I can just say it's a rojak or <laughs> it's not 100%. Blend. Uh, mm. It's blended. <laughs> do, you, do you experience, I remember um, when I was younger, I had this classmate of mine. Then they were a transfer student from uh, mainland China. And then mm. in his, he was very smart at like math and science, but like in his, his English is of course weaker than ours because their standard of English is not on par in the same way that our standard of Chinese is not on par with them. Mm. And I remember like um the teacher like saying that his sentence structure for composition had a lot of issues. And then I was like reading his composition and I realized that he was actually what he was doing is he was doing a direct translation from Chinese. So in his brain had the sentence in Mandarin and then he directly translated it word for word into English. So that was the problem because in languages, sometimes sentence structure won't uh, directly copy over, you see. So, it's yeah, kind it's of like not, Spanish. Yeah. It's not that the child is dumb. It's just they have a uh, language that they think in by default and then it does not translate well over to another language. 
I think for my problems or maybe most of the adults when we learn a new language, we're kind of like using the tri- direct direct mm, translation. translation. Yeah. Mm. But if you look at the kids, uh, like when I look at my, my boy, uh, they are not using the direct translation. They are just, I watch the English uh, YouTube or I watch the Mandarin. Then I just get the words or the sentence direct from there. So their learning way is totally different from like adults. Sponge That's why they are very fast. Yeah. Mm. That's why I always remember that my teacher told us that if you want to improve your English, you you watch the English movie mm. uh, and read the English books, all those things. Yeah. So you direct get the, the sentence, the structure of the sentence from there instead of direct translation in your mind. It's, it's also yeah. because then you get exposed to more uh, common commonly used phrases. Mm. And then also sometimes there's yeah. slang as well. So like how you will be yeah. taught in a formal class might be different from what kind of language you will use on a day-to-day basis. You know? And then of course there's like idioms and like funny phrases mm. that people use as well. So it's good. Listen to the video. Listen to movies. The be you. The voice in your head is what? I, I think in English lah, mainly... Uh, and then recently I have this thing where I think last year last year I had this thing where I went through a very so I went through a very stressful period last year I think some of you might know and then uh, because of the high level of stress right I towards the end of the year especially I had this um, very strange sensation of something that's similar to asphasia so i will be thinking something and Mm. i will be processing my thoughts but my speech cannot keep up with um so i'll be talking to stephanie right um and i cannot say the things that i want to say to her um although Mm. i'm thinking those things and i have the intention to but somehow um Due to the intense level of stress last year, right? Uh, there was this period where I had uh, asphyxia la, in the sense that, you know, I was trying to talk to her, trying to communicate certain things that I already had in my mind. But my vocabulary or my whatever I said just couldn't. I do you remember, Steph? Mm. Yeah. And then I remember being so very... Yeah, I remember being very upset with myself, like very frustrated, mm. like why can't I just, you know, explain you and things. Because I think I was too mentally exhausted. Mm. Um, and it's also I exhausting was... to, to think about how to phrase your, your sentences. So it's like compound. So it's just very disconnected. La. It's just very mm. disconnected. It feels very disconnected. And then the the frustration, right, uh, it just builds la, when you are having the episode. So, thankfully, it seems like uh, it's, it got better around the time where we did our live shows. Like, when we started our uh, Wednesday live program. Mm. Uh, maybe it's also to do with, like, speech, you know, like, m- relaxing environment in, you know, having mm. a relaxing environment when you talk and then also, like, not just work all the time, you know, not just negative stuff all the time. So I think that was something that, uh, um, help. that was something that helped me, la, the mm. live shows. Basically, you need to focus, you see, and uh, at the same time, you are also relaxing because you are drawing and everything. So it was a good, it, for me, it was a good um, opportunity, I guess. Yeah, and it was a, uh, it has helped me. Uh, I don't think I have asphyxia anymore, or not at this time. Uh, it has helped me calm down a lot, also, lah. Yeah. So I speak in English in my brain as well. Give me a moment, uh, I need to shut the windows. Hmm. I remember trying to like relearn French. I forgot how old I was at the point in time. And then I remember in that French class, um they would 
give you an interview over the phone to try and get to know how good your French is. And then they will place you at a certain like grade level. So like if you had no zero um capabilities in French, you're learning as a new language, they put you at the beginners, like beginner one. And then if you have conversational French, then you go to beginner two and so on and so forth. And then you are like taking French as like an examinable subject so that you can put it on your resume that's different. And I remember like in the class, there was this one guy, you know, we were making like self-introductions uh, in French just so that uh, there's a good warm-up. And then there's a, because I was put in beginner too, so these students in that class, most of them had come from beginner one class. So they were just in- introducing themselves. And then there's this one guy who's like, oh, I'm here to learn French because I like languages and I know seven other languages. And we're like, wow. <laughs> and he could he could pick up vocabulary very quickly. He could pick up uh, the rules of a language very quickly. I'm like, wow, some people really are gifted in uh, languages. Eh? That's seven languages, good for him. <laughs> I wonder what kind of language he thinks in. If you like know seven, like know those, do they call it polygraph? Mm-hmm. Maybe he can just uh, direct convert his brain. Whenever he speaks like, another language. Yeah. I wonder yeah, I wonder what's the thought process like for those people. Like is it that they when they are speaking to a Chinese person then all of their thoughts are in Mandarin or do they have like do they default to us their first and most natural language and then convert those thoughts into Chinese? Yeah. I would I would like to know if, if you know multiple languages, like more than three, please let us know. What Actually, yeah, you know, it's quite interesting. It depends on where you live also. So, um, ah. last time, uh, yeah, because it, it's the environment that you're in, right? Okay. So, last time when I lived in Australia, right, mm. um, I will speak uh, in the way that Australians speak. Oh, you mean like the slang, the speech pattern? Not necessarily, but like... Um, it's not it's not the accent that I mean some for for some people it's the accent lah, okay. But Mm-mm. for me it's more like my the clarity of my pronunciation, the mm. the style of um the conversation, you know. It mm. will be more Aussified mm. than if I were to speak the same or say the same thing in Singapore. Mm. Yeah. I so I guess I guess it depends also on your on your whereabouts and your audience lah. Mm. Because if I were to say, if I were to speak like that in Singapore, then people will look at me funny also la. Like, this person, you know, like, what is she trying to do? Like, is she trying to prove something, you know? But, but I think for children, right, whatever language that they are immersed in, right, they will pick up. So, um, my nephew, right, last time used to watch Spanish cartoons and he could speak <laughs> Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> But I think now he cannot really lah because he oh, stopped watching me so very long. <laughs> yeah, it's quite true, you know. Because I, yeah. I remember that when I was very young, I my ama, my grandma, my father's mm. mother, she only know how to speak Teochew. Mm. So when I before I enter primary school, I was okay, before I enter the uh maybe kindergarten. So we speak uh Teochew with my ama. But then my ama very smart. She, she picked up Mandarin very fast. So and now he her Mandarin is very good. Then I forgot my Teochew anymore. Mm. Uh, already. Yeah. <laughs> very good very sad. My, my grandma yeah. my grandma after I because in, in school I would learn Mandarin. So six years old you're in primary school already in uh, Singapore. So she was like, Oh Chinese settled already in school. So she she one day she told me she, she spoke to me mostly in Mandarin. She said one day she told me, oh, from now I'm going to speak Cantonese to you. Then at the very least, when people say nasty things about you in Cantonese, you can understand. And as an adult now, I find it so funny that like her reasoning is not, it's good to learn another language. Her reasoning is, so people bad mouth you, you can scold them. <laughs> then I always, when I talk to my mom about it, I'm saying, my grandma is so funny. She said such, such funny things last time. Yeah, so learn another language, then when people bad mouth you, you can scold them. <laughs> or contact Stephanie to scold them back for you. Mm, yes. 
My my mother mm. does say that I speak Cantonese like a, a duck though. So not the best. But she speaks Cantonese like a gangster. Very good. <laughs> so yeah. very good for scolding people. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, then the funny thing is, I've always wanted like someone to like say bad mouth me like Cantonese or Chinese, so I can say, "Hey, you you think I cannot understand you?" But the opportunity has <laughs> never arisen. People are always very nice. Okay, we I I'll, I'll tell Daniel. Daniel can speak Cantonese as well. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> cannot cannot be own people. Must be outside people. Then I can scold them. Cannot be own people. Mm, cannot be too different. <laughs> okay, is that is that all for this question? <laughs> I don't know. Is that all? Oh, oh but when God. I was a kid, I also I also knew all the dialects very well. I used to speak Cantonese very well and Hokkien very happen. well. And and then gradually, as I went to school, I stopped seeing my grandparents so often. Oh, yeah. So but is, my Hokkien is, is has always la. yeah. And my Hokkien, and, you know, it's also your environment because in school you don't um have people speaking Hokkien to you, ma. Mm. Yeah. So basically, uh, my Hokkien was always better than my Cantonese, I think. But then, but then, now I don't know. Maybe both are equally bad. Lah. Yeah. But okay, something, something funny, something funny oh, for myself okay. is that I, I, as I said, I didn't speak uh, dialect. But my mom's and uh, my grandfather, which means it's my mother's, fathers they speak Hakka to each other mm. but when my grandfather speak with us right he speak uh, Chinese so normally when they speak they something that they don't want us to know they speak Hakka oh, yes. then yes. slowly slowly I pick up and I can understand maybe 50% of the Hakka <laughs> hey, what is this? Hey, I, I can understand you know <laughs> it's so, something like what we do time. around Charlotte now oh uh, yeah <laughs> Her now, now when we talk to now when we talk to Charlotte, right? Or, or rather now when we have something to say but we don't want Charlotte to know, right? We use Mandarin, you know. Oh. So I, I think I think she's gonna learn Mandarin out of spite, you know, because she knows yeah. that we're talking about her. So so with my mom I can speak Mandarin, but um my in laws, both my husband and my mother in law don't speak uh Mandarin, they speak Bahasa Malayu. So I cannot say Secrets in front of Charlotte to them, which I find very frustrating sometimes. Yeah, for Charlotte, you can learn Bahasa. But yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> then, then the other day, my mother and I we were just sitting by the dining table, and we were talking to each other in Mandarin. And then Charlotte was with us, and she was like, "Mommy, are you and Nana speaking Chinese?" Then I said, "Yes." Then my mother was saying, "You must, you must also learn Mandarin, you know. Then next time you can understand what we're saying." And then she was like, "No, I don't want to learn Mandarin." And then oh no, and my husband just came out of the, his room. He was like. What you mean? What you mean? You're not gonna learn Mandarin. <laughs> you must learn. Let's go her. Yeah. So she has it in her head now, and then she has a very good uh, Chinese teacher in school. Uh, she's fluently bilingual, but she refuses to speak the English to Charlotte. So she will just speak to her in Mandarin. Very good. We appreciate it. Exposure. I think so nowadays there are a lot of better Chinese teachers mm. than last time. Mm. Yeah. I think Chinese teachers either very nice or very nasty. I don't know that like, all my Chinese teachers were nasty then. <laughs> yeah, but all my I, Chinese teachers I, were nasty one. I remember my Chinese teachers used to use a lot of shame tactics. Same so, ah, same. So they'll make me, the entire class laugh at me. Then yeah. they'll do all kinds of funny things. Yeah, I just for me don't for me. Know. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was me. because I was a I'm a half I'm a I'm a mixed race child by bi- biracial child, so then the, my teachers would say like Stephanie, how many marks do you get? And this is like my Chinese teacher. Stephanie, how many marks do you get for the exam? I'm like fifty six. Anyone below fifty six marks, shame on y'all. Because <laughs> I was like the benchmark. Then all of them were like deaf bad. I mean, like how come you have to be our benchmark? So the poor guy, first person with 48 marks will be like, this stupid Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> Should have done worse. Then I won't get scolded. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of shame tactics. I wonder why they do that too. Super thing. It's okay, well, I failed my O-level Chinese. And, and yeah, I didn't manage to pass. But at that at that time also I was going through a lot. Like my mom was mm. very sick. My mom passed away. Uh no, my grandmother passed away uh 
shortly or rather during my exams actually mm. my O levels and then uh my mom was in hospital at the time as well so my mom also passed away uh, just before I got my results so that year was I mean last time people don't understand why it's gap year right mm. yeah so okay, at that yeah. point in my life I wasn't in the mood to to try and figure out another language lah. I mean already there's so many, so much going on at home mm. No. Do you think you've given the chance you have done a lot better? Of course. In spite of all of those things, right? I got mm. a 17, you know, at O levels. Mm. Yeah. In spite of not having like a perfect uh place to study at home or perfect environment to study at, I still managed to score a 17 and get into uh at that point I got into law. Mm. Uh, at the polytechnic So at that point It was still Quite a good score For someone who Who isn't like uh, Able to Have tuition On every subject And you know mm. Yeah Or have their parents Help them You know like mm. The kind of thing So For me It was considered uh, A major achievement On my part lah. Yeah And And I had At that point right I thought I would fail math, you know, because I was consistently failing math in school. Mm. So the miracle of it was that I passed my math uh, and I failed my Chinese. Mm. Yeah. So for me, between the both, right, the math was more useful. Lah. So mm. I had no regrets. And then also I had accounts, which I'm still using to this day. <sighs> Very good. Who <laughs> said <sighs> level not, not helpful? <laughs> Yeah, when so, why I use this when you open your own business? <laughs> at that time, I don't think. At that time, when I took my O levels, I think Stephanie was just two years old or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't know yeah. Ha, la, la. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. So are we done with the language chat? Mm. <laughs> mm. Interesting conversation. Yeah. Okay. So that was number four. Are we going backwards or what? Three, yeah. Or oh, you want to choose? Three, three. Don't want, don't want to choose. Yeah. Let's just okay, number three. Up. What is your favorite book or magazine and why? Oh, my favorite book. Mm. Favorite book. I can tell you what I'm currently reading. <laughs> That's not the question. Mm. Susan, do you have a favorite book? I'm still thinking. Think, think Debbie. some more. It's okay. Debbie, do you have a favorite? Well, I have a favorite magazine. I don't know about favorite book lah because I haven't read a book in a long time. I mean, like a proper uh, bound book. And then those that I read nowadays mostly are more like pictorials, so I won't call them books. Um, I also haven't bought a decent book for myself in a long time. Usually, so recently I bought my niece and nephew a, a book each. Uh, no, no, I bought him two books and then I bought the niece one book. Um, my my current favorite magazine is Country Life from mm. the UK. So it's a UK magazine. It's not available in Singapore, I think. How do you get it? Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. I'm not very sure. (laughs) I never go and check out the newsstand uh, recently. I haven't checked out the newsstands recently. But um, they have it online. So I subscribe to the online version. I think mine is the free subscription. But even with the free subscription, right? I have a lot of things to read. So I'm not going to buy the subscription. uh. Because I don't have that much time also. So I like to read uh, Country Life because it reminds me of uh, uh, the time that I spent on holidays in the UK as uh, when, when I was growing up. So in a way, right, um, actually, if I think about it, right, uh, that's probably why I think in English. Lah, because I spend a lot of time with uh, exposed to English uh, rather than any other language because my my parents uh, although they are both Chinese um, I think my mom's Malay is better than her Chinese 
for? Her Cantonese is good lah, but her her Chinese is cannot cannot read cannot write one. No? Then my dad is even worse. He cannot read, cannot write, cannot understand also. <laughs> cannot read, cannot write. Uh, so he's what, Mandarin, is he monolingual? Yeah. Oh. Uh, unless, unless it's Cai Peng lah, then he know how to order. Oh. What's the kind of... <laughs> yeah. Then, like food, he can still say, or Gai Fan or what lah, or, 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 or something in Hokkien, you know, like according to what the, he's buying lah. Hmm. So he still can function. It's just that it's not uh, <laughs> conversant. Yeah, you can order food means you can still can function. Okay. Won't die la, Won't starve, right? <laughs> so still can function la, Won't won't die la. Won't go hungry, right? Yeah. Hmm. So, so so can still function la. Won't won't die on the street like starve to death. So so basically, um, I like country life because uh, it talks about. Uh, gardens like people's gardens, private gardens, uh, museum gardens. Uh, it also talks about wildlife. Um, like recently there was an article about the um, native uh, creatures, you know, in the UK um, woodlands, and you know, like in between, in between plots of land, they have hedgerows. They have all oh, these are all very English sort of ideas because. I don't think any other country has. Okay, maybe Australia and New Zealand might also have. But the term hedgerows is a very UK uh, thing, actually. Yeah. I wouldn't look at Singapore and say, oh, that hedgerow is so pretty, you know? Or, or you know, like, whether there's any wildlife in our hedgerows because basically we may or may not even have a hedgerow. <laughs> maybe we have just one line of plants, lah, you know? Uh, just for decoration or, or to form a visual boundary but we wouldn't uh, really call them hegeros then they talked about how you know they have like uh, voles they have little uh, river otters they have uh, tiny creatures lah, basically very cute uh, dormouse things like that and then you know they relate it back to how uh, the countryside is doing, uh, like in terms of uh, pollution and things like that. So it's actually very interesting. Um, but what I like about uh, this magazine most is that uh, they talk about the history of certain country and states. So they go around like people's houses um, and they actually talk about the history behind the house. You know? So in the UK, some of the houses are ancient. And they actually uh, can be traced back through history, illustrious families, sometimes royalty. So in a way, right, when they talk about the history of a house, they also bring in all kinds of other historical um, events and stuff, you know, like all oh, the Queen's visit or, or something. Like, you know, it's very interesting uh, because in Singapore, uh, I think I think a... Uh, 50-year-old apartment is already considered old in Singapore. But here we are talking about like 500 years old and beyond, you know? So it's very interesting. And um, occasionally, they also put out articles like uh, old houses for sale, you know, countryside estates for sale. And then um, I really like looking at that. And then I always tell Stephanie that one day I'm going to retire there. Mm, run away. At, at first, right, she wouldn't believe me, you know? She thought I was crazy. Mm, <laughs> but I am crazy, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so there's another book lover, but she's very quiet and suddenly. Who? Uh? Who's that? <laughs> me? <laughs> okay. Um, currently, I think I like the book about the... Okay, actually, I like the books about the travelling... So, uh, Where are you going to travel to right now? Malaysia. Mm, cannot, can, cannot, <laughs> cannot travel so, physically, so. You are still traveling. Wow, may zhi ke. It's still called yeah. traveling, what? You go back to yeah, Malaysia, it's still traveling. Holiday. Wa. Yeah, okay. yeah. But the, you the are traveling is very the boring, most eh? One of us, eh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we it's don't true. Even have, oh. <laughs> Whoa. You. Bring you also travel from back. house to studio, from house I to. Know. <laughs> <laughs> also travel, what? 
I, I, I don't even get to leave my house sometimes. So pretty. Mm. I travel from upstairs to downstairs to no, leave. What the heck? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Then I obviously I, none oh, of us are a... normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <sighs> even uh, maybe initially we are normal, but when we get together, then become abnormal. See to you. Enough not yeah. most people get together, then the IQ of the overall yeah. group will be lowered. <laughs> and there's a there's a magazine that I like. It's a it's a Chinese magazine called Xiao Ruzi. Xiao Ruzi. Uh, in days. this uh, magazine, yeah, they will, they will introduce some of the maybe, uh, not just in Taiwan but maybe in other country also. Some of the special shops, maybe it's a cafe or some uh artisan shop. They they. Make bookmaking or some uh very unique industrial, yeah. Mm. Uh, so I like read that. Last time I I will buy once a while in Malaysia, once a while mean because the book is very expensive. I think it's a. Uh, I can't remember. It's fifteen ringgit or almost twenty ringgit. Yeah, even even I buy those are uh, outdated one. Uh. <laughs> it's still very expensive. Mm. Uh, because it's a, I think it's a monthly magazine. Mm. Uh, so, but uh, like in S- Singapore, the library they actually have this book, so it's good that I can oh. borrow sometimes. Yeah, that's why she says she like the library in Singapore. Mm. Now I know why. Yeah, yeah, the magazine, the books. Don't mm. pay money. Don't pay fifteen ringgit every month. <laughs> actually, magazine week, is really yeah. expensive okay. now, every right? Week. Every every month, mm-hmm. if not wrong. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna pay pounds to subscribe to this country life lah, because the subscription is in pounds. Eh. Mm. I I don't think I, I will. Mm. I don't think I want the physical copy also, and then I am reading their. I mean, okay. reading their free subscription is already got a lot of. Things to look at already, so I think I'm. Uh, I think I don't have the kind of time also, so, so probably will not commit. Last time yeah. I subscribed to to the physical book of Reader Digest. Yeah, oh, yeah. Chi- yeah, Chinese, Chinese and English. But oh, when the price is when it's getting expensive, then I stop subscription. Well, then it started then to re- one more recently. Advertisement. Yeah. Then, uh, recently I found that the book is become thinner and thinner. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you still subscribe? Yeah. No, I didn't subscribe, but I uh, browse it in library. Oh. Yeah. Last time I used to subscribe to National Geographic. So uh, mm. I like all these exotic magazines that are very, very, very expensive in Singapore. Eh? Yeah. I think I think the the last time we when we still subscribe to Net Geo, right? I think it was like per copy also around eighteen dollars or something like that. Wow, then I find oh, it's expensive, expensive, right? So when you yeah, convert yeah. to ringgit, ah, uh, wow, cannot. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why I didn't want to subscribe with you too much. Uh. Then also, you don't know what to do with the book after that. So I have one stack here, right? I I used to collect, uh, So I have one stack in my house, you know. Oh, of, uh, <laughs> no, uh, you can't bear to cut them. Uh, I tell you. Then um. And then and then and then I remember there was once I went to the went to a secondhand bookshop at Holland Village in Singapore, and then I saw a nineteen fifties copy of uh, Net Joe. Wow. You buy yeah, it? and I I think I bought a nineteen seventy six one. I think my oldest copy is a nineteen seventy six one. Hmm. Puto. Older than Susan Yeo. I think this second hand bookstore is really nice because last time I I have a lot of those reader digests. So you are not you're not going to throw it because yeah. uh yeah it's still worth to read it. So I, I just bring I think few most few stacks go to the second hand bookstore then just uh put it there. Then the shop owner says that I'm not able to give you the money because I do not know whether <laughs> this kind of book will sell or not. They say just keep it. As long as there's someone who want to get it, just don't waste it, ah. Yeah. 
Then it takes a lot of space, eh? Mm. Yeah, it does take a lot of space. Uh, yeah, I have I have one cupboard dedicated to magazines here. Then I feel that oh, I think I cannot collect anymore. No space. That's why you should move the e-reader. Buy a Kindle. Not sponsored. <laughs> no, but you can't. You can't get the nineteen seventy six anymore. Wow. How you you you? I'm quite sure you looked around. There's a digital copy somewhere. Yeah. Then how much is the Kindle? I also wasting money. I buy her. You not I don't want the one. I got an iPad. Thank you very much. Enough now. Too many devices, Mary. I only Fair have enough. one pair of eyes. I don't have an iPad, but I have a Kindle, which I bring around with me. It's, it's too much, uh, because still got laptop, still got phone, <laughs> still got... Have... I know, okay, it's like, too many... Home. Too many devices already, la. So, Stephanie, favorite mm. book? No favorite book. Got, got. Got too many favorite book that I forget. Um, favorite book, I think, is... The Boy, The Bird, and The Coffee Maker by Matilda Woods. Mm. It's, it's a very mm, it's a very heart-wrenching story about, about this man and how he lost his wife and then he found this boy and this bird. He's a coffee maker, la, obviously. That's the title of the, the book. Says. And then it goes through the process of grief and has this little story. It's a nice read-aloud uh, story for slightly older kids. And basically, before we had, uh, Alex and I had Charlotte I bought this book, then I read a chapter to my husband out loud. Also to myself, because it's the first time I'm like, seeing this book to myself and to, to my husband. And that's how we bonded on those nights. On those nights. And then, then we read a chapter. Then we're like, oh, this is interesting. Nice, nice cliffhanger. And then the next night we'll continue reading. <laughs> so it's quite, quite nice. Why are you all choose such a morbid? Oh, but it is. It's a very sweet, sweet story though. It's, it's, a bit sad, but it's, it's very sweet. Yeah. So I, I Don't like, traumatize I like, Charlotte. Eh. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not going to her. Always QC Thanks for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um, and then recently I read I'm Glad My Mother Died by Janet McCurdy. Yo. So, <laughs> yeah, so um, that one is an autobiography and her mother was abusive and basically it's a story about basically giving yourself permission to cut toxic people out from your life if that make, uh, makes your future better. So, so it was a good read. Okay. Yeah, but but maybe her mom also do not want to get out of the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a doozy of a story. You should read it. It's interesting, interesting read to, 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 to If it's doozy, it. why do I want to read it? It's like Gossip Magazine. <laughs> Kind of deal, you know? Yo. You're like wow. <laughs> no, but she she really so you read trash la. No, 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 no. Gossip she's, magazines she's, and she's, what? It's very well written, and she's she's a survivor, so nice, nice time to to read. Not not the kind of story you would fall asleep to, do. more like a daytime read kind of deal. Then I want to read to stress myself, ah. Uh. No la, I think I will pass. Okay. <laughs> Your taste in books very scary. Mm, a bit. <laughs> <sighs> the rest of the book, I mean, I want like self help. Mm. Or like cult so, classics. Cult classics. So, not going to mention them. So? I don't see that. Which is the favorite and why? Oh, uh, the boy, the bird, and the coffee maker. I because think he's sad. So, no, no, I think more so of the memory attached to it. Like, I read it with my husband and we bonded over it. So was, you read it to your husband, not to with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was reading it a lot, but he was also kind of following along the story. Right? He was skyping. Yeah, at some point, yeah, at some point I'm like, are you listening? He's like, yeah, yeah. Then he will recount like what happened in like, the past few chapters. I was like, okay, okay. Fair enough. Yo. I will continue reading. <laughs> reading it sounds like lot, our conversation. Eh. Reading, reading a lot takes a lot of effort, okay? <laughs> Why are you listening? Talking to you also takes a lot of effort, okay? Okay, okay. So I must, must make sure, I must check in. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. This happened and that happened. Okay, okay. Very good. No, yours I is think. like... Yours is like, what I say, ah? Uh? <laughs> what I say just now? I'm like, what? you never listen. I did. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> okay, where are we at now? 
Do you have something you recently discovered about yourself? What is it? How or why? Something I recently discovered. Actually, I have one. Eh. Ah, what's so fast? I, I, I just realized that I have one. <laughs> 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 I, I recently you. discovered that I won. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. I let Susan go first. Why must I the first one? Because later you say we steal your answer or whatever. No, la, no, no. no. I don't think you were able to steal the answer. Yeah, man. <laughs> we so all are different. <laughs> but recently she hasn't gone first, ma. So it makes sense for her to go so first. first. <laughs> mm. Susan, what is something you recently discovered about yourself? I also must think, hold on. Oh. Thing I think recently discovered by myself. Wait, uh, 10 years ago is not a reason, huh? don't try and pretend. So... Uh. Especially so how you... reason is how, how reason is recent. One at, reason. Least, at least, at least re- recent enough, uh, like, like maybe this year or last year, uh, cannot be cannot be more than f- I mean, years ago. This, yeah, because I know Stephanie is sure will have some very funny interpretation of the question. One, you know, <sighs> I think I got the answer to if two years okay, I got the answer. Okay, okay, mm. two years, two I, years, two years. I <sighs> discovered that. I can talk non-stop when i teaching. <laughs> because, okay, since, uh, since 2020, we have the online online classes for Zentangle. Mm. So, uh, uh, I think, okay, just recently, I think just this week, I have a student uh, tell me that, how can you talk non-stop when you teach the Zentangle? <laughs> Just uh, because I can. <laughs> I, I can insult, are you trying to insult me? Because I can. Because she 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 says that if me right, I cannot talk and draw at the same time. That's why it's not. Then I say. <laughs> then I says yeah. I didn't didn't realize that until you tell me about this thing. Then I say that I. I, so she asked me whether I prepared my script for oh. the class. I said, how to prepare the script for one and a half and two hours class? <laughs> I said, then I said, it, the thing is, it seems like it come naturally. Maybe it's my gene that talkative. <laughs> it's a talkative oh. gene inside me, just that I didn't realize it. Yeah. Don't know. Eh. You, you, you I, tell I the student to, to join us at live show. We train her. Train <laughs> In a year, because confirm you can talk. In the live show, yeah, yeah, in the live show, is three, can. is three person talk together. Then we take turns. Yeah, but so in the class, la. one person talk. Yeah, so non-stop, we start eh. from three. Very scary, first. Eh. Yeah, so we start from three persons first, lah. No, I think I then think we that slowly train, la. The the other day of virtual classes, la, Why is, not? Kung fu is slowly. You wait. You're learning Xi Kung Fu, right? It's slowly. Yeah. So, so I right? shout out for Eunice Leong. Come and join us. <laughs> <laughs> she go right away. I think. Yeah. But I think for 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 virtual class, the other thing is sometimes the students don't don't speak, and then we really is an hour and a half. You're just talking to yourself. Yeah. This is yeah, another thing that she she mentioned. <laughs> This is another thing that she mentions to me that how can you do that? Uh? You talk to yourself, then you hide yourself. Uh, the hide, which is yeah. you are very <laughs> excited. You, you introduce her to Stephanie. No, but it is, it is because a because yeah. because Stephanie always talking to herself. One, uh, you know, yeah, even not true, in class that's also. That's true. It's the only yeah. child syndrome. So she talk. <laughs> no, I'm only child also, but I'm not like you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not the normal. only child, but <laughs> well, you got cousins. No, even Stephanie can talk non-stop. Like, really, <laughs> really non-stop. I'm monologue. Then, after that, when she goes home, uh, my that particular ear will be deaf for a while. Poor thing. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> then, when, when my husband talk to me, I'll be like, huh? huh? Then, uh, he will say, <laughs> We can't deaf. Can't hang out yeah, so we can't deaf. <laughs> mm, very good. It's true. I'm not joking. You ask, you ask Daniel. 
Eric Daniel, Paging Daniel. I think he's watching it. Yeah, yeah, he is. I saw him coming just now. <laughs> then he will say that after watching the live, he's also dead. His year also dead. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. But he's he's very supportive, so he has been watching most of our series. Yeah. The only husband who's hardworking enough. Yes. No, uh, because he, he he when he's not uh immediately needed in his work, he can still tune in uh, you know. Hang out with us. Mm. Lu, 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 lu. Maybe he's checking whether we are doing work. Ah. Maybe he's checking whether you talk bad about him. Mm. <laughs> or he knows I will sure talk bad about him if the need comes. If, if the thing? if the need arises. Just like what I will thing? talk bad about Stephanie when the need arises. Same. Uh. The one is the one is anticipated. <laughs> yeah, I'm very not biased, you see. I mm. do for all. I disturb everyone equally. Yeah. E- mm. Even Susan Yo. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Mm. So must check around. in yeah. even I'm not on live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At that time. Beats <laughs> yang yang. Mm. Yang yang. Mm. Yang yang. Pigu yang yang. <laughs> Hachi. <laughs> Pigu yang is the one who who want to get someone punish. Yeah, yeah, that's why I go and, go and find trouble for yourself. Then come on to the mm. comment section. Then like, oh Susan is here. Then yeah. maybe you le. What is something you recently discovered? You don't answer. Eh? I still thinking. Ooh, you oh, you still think? Ah, uh? okay. I answer first. So recently, I discovered that I am gluten intolerant. Uh, but it is not a. Uh, you know, some people theirs is very severe, so they cannot eat at all. Like they cannot eat gluten at all. You know. Um. I always thought that I have an issue digesting carbohydrates last time, uh, which is true. Uh. So for for some time, I actually tried the keto and the paleo and the whatever diet, but it didn't really work for me. Uh, and recently, when I began having my heart issues and my nerve issues, um, that was so I'm going through a a, a couple of kind of like a phase to my diet where I'm trying to test out what I can and cannot eat. You know? uh, although now I am primarily vegan. Uh, so uh, primarily um, plant-based vegan. Uh, so I don't eat uh, processed food and I don't eat meat. I don't take uh, seafood. Um, I, take, I take eggs once a week at this moment. Um and I don't so I didn't restrict myself on bread intake or wheat intake or gluten la, basically gluten intake. Then there was one day right um actually it's it's happened twice already. That's that's how I know that uh I suddenly cannot tolerate a certain level of gluten. But sometimes I can, you know. So it's it's kind of confusing me because I think that Certain levels my body can tolerate, whereas certain levels, uh, if I exceed that level, right, unknowingly, right, or I cannot, then I'll have the whole night, uh, whole night my heart will be racing up and down and I'll be, uh, very unwell. So, I only realized this, I think less than a month ago, eh. So, it started out, uh, that one day I had, was it? How how did you start, uh, Steph? I told you about it, right? The first time. Um, with with your um the bread, then you had extra. Was it noodles? No, that 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 was that was that was that was last night. Yeah. So so yes, the I mean the the, um, the previous time it occurred, right? Um. I didn't realize that. Um, so usually when we cook noodles, so recently when we cook noodles, right, we drain the fluid before we add the. So we boil the noodles separately before we add the broth. Uh. And and then there was one day I was rushing, so after work I was cooking dinner and I was rushing, I forgot to drain the noodles from the mm. cooking water and I immediately added the broth, and then that whole night right. 
my heart was like jumping non-stop. Because <laughs> I think too much, uh, you know, normally when you boil already, right? Uh, and that particular brand of noodles also, I think, was, uh, you know, Tao Xiao Mian. It's very thick cut. Uh, normally your noodles are like that or like that, right? This one is mm. like that. No? So it's very thick cut noodles. It's, it's the literal translation is knife cut noodles. So mm. it's a very um, coarse cut. And I thought actually actually I like I like my noodles also la. I like rice, I like noodles, I like my carbs. So basically it's one more thing I cannot eat la. Basically noodles. So now I have to actually look for uh gluten free options. Uh and then I'm like not very keen because that cuts out a lot of the the options sure. la, in Singapore. Yeah. And, and and also it's like this makes it impossible to have pasta or noodles uh outdoors, you no, know, like when you go out. Mm. Unless they have uh the on the menu the gluten free options. La. But you cannot go to the hawker centre and ask, uh, can I have gluten free right? <laughs> they will look at you like want to slap you away. Yeah. So so <laughs> Yeah, your gluten. What, like, what is gluten free? Someone's gluten in, in, in Chinese. <laughs> yeah, what is gluten free, Susan? A I I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult. Okay, I check. <laughs> I also check. Hold on. Gluten free. Oh my goodness! My cat is screaming. Can you hear my cat? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> He decided to tell you what gluten free is in Miao language. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know how to pronounce the song. I don't know. I just know how to write that word. It's a team word. Wait, let me just. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ah, very good. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so <laughs> if you so speak in Mandarin to people, ah, uh, people don't understand also. So oh, I, I just, <laughs> I just go back to the. I just go back to the app and translate back for them. Ah, <laughs> auntie, you have this one? I think the auntie also don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, like, huh? I only got chocolate uh, and laksa. That's all. Yeah. You want to buy? Don't want to buy. Don't want to buy. Just get lost if you're not buying anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a very typical thing that our hawkers say actually. Mm. Me out you my meal, okay, meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so this is something that I discovered about myself very recently and I'm very I am in two minds about it because uh I'm not someone who really overdoses on carbs in the first place. As Steph will know or can tell you. Your body is like, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you like, yeah, but my body is like, and then I'm I'm a very thin high person usually, you know. So so usually when we go out, uh, I don't particularly have anything that I like to eat or like you know have any cravings. And then I'm always telling Steph like, ah, you choose, ah, you choose, you know, like I have no, I have no opinion, you know, when it comes to food because she is food motivated and opinions. I'm not. Yeah, my body has more like opinions that I do it. Eh. I don't want that. I don't want this also. Yeah, man. And not that. And I want this, but only <sighs> this type. Yeah, it's so embarrassing, you know. <laughs> because it's like Can when you go it. out, right? Then there are certain, certain things that you cannot eat, right? Then you get very annoyed at yourself, you know. <laughs> then I really don't enjoy explaining to people that, oh, I can't eat this one, you know. And then I can't eat that one, you know. Then the people look at you like, then what you can eat? You tell us lah. Yeah, I'll be like, uh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. I don't, yeah, I don't eat, I don't eat. Can eat Can eat vegetable. <sighs> just say it for me, so just reason, uh, then nobody will go bother you. Why should I lie? What's the tie that? And then everyone leave you alone. Why, why can't I just say that I'm vegan and only you lie? Because all people don't, don't understand what then vegan Then people, is. people who eat meat don't have to lie, <laughs> then I don't eat meat, I have to lie. What kind of logic? <laughs> no, no, I go and tell them I love animals. Mm, can? <sighs> can? It's rubbish. It's like you cannot say that you don't drink. You say, I'm currently on medication and everybody leave you alone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at us, not normal one. They also will leave us alone. Fair enough. This one, not normal one. Need medication. Don't know for what. <laughs> that kind of medication. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my cat is whining. <laughs> Can you hear him? No. He also want to be part of conversation. He got opinions. Yeah, okay, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Dexter have yeah. a squeaky boy. <laughs> Listen. What did I discover about myself? Two years is the max, huh? I tell you first, ah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I discovered She she said two years ma, so yours cannot exceed hers, ah. Uh. Oh. She is the benchmark. Got what time did we end? I discovered that I can heal from my childhood trauma and not have to think about it every single day. Mm. Because when you live in this function, you don't know that other people have a different kind of normal. Yeah. So therapy, very helpful. If you have childhood trauma, I recommend going to see a specialist to help you get over it. I just recommend you childhood trauma. Go. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't, don't recommend childhood trauma. Please skip over that. and save you a lot of money and time. So. Uh, <laughs> I recommend childhood trauma. No. <laughs> Things taken out of context. Oh my goodness. I rec- If you have childhood trauma, I recommend Can you imagine they tune in at that part? It'll be very funny. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend first thing they hear. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> first thing they hear. What kind of what kind of what kind of podcast? What kind of talk show is this? Maybe we have more viewers that way. Mm, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Let's see something shocking. More haters. Oh dear. No, but sometimes. Should I just... do a wasi? It's also. Do ah? Oh, I cannot do. Where are you? My yeah. towel looks very empty. Why? Why your towel looks so shiny? Oh no, it's not shiny. Shiny. It's a white color. <laughs> you shiny? know, like there's a plastic wrap. No, no, it's not. It's just the what? white of the paper. It, it, it created a visual, a visual sort of um, white of the paper. Oh, I mean this part, is it? Yeah, yeah. Then it looked like oh. got a plastic wrap over it. I was like, huh? What's that? Why you put a plastic wrap over it? Yeah. Sometimes just talking about the not so nice things that happen in your life as a coherent story from start to finish helps you just get it out of your system and then that helps you get past it. Because in the past, I used to have a lot of intrusive thoughts. Yeah, not so much PTSD. I got over that. Um, I think also that. there is a degree of self pity when you mm. have trauma. Yeah, mm. and your self compassion is activated. Mm. Higher lah, higher. Because you feel the need to protect yourself. Mm. Mm. Whereas for other people without uh, we, without this, right, they are not so inhibited. Mm. And sometimes it's also just, you just want your story to be heard. But it's not um, socially accepted to trauma dump. And I don't recommend trauma dumping on other people that have not signed up for it. Yeah, but, it, but you did it to me eh. I also never signed up. Oh. <laughs> I didn't trauma dump on you. You did. You don't know how to story. <laughs> yeah. But you still did. What did? Well, you, you mm. try to down on me too. <laughs> so, it's what? trauma sharing. Trauma bonding. Ah, there we go. Uh. Yeah, but when, when you're with a paid professional, it's, it's socially accepted. Uh, then you can just unload your whole story. Of then. course, uh, you're paying uh. the person. Eh. How come uh. I never got paid? Can 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 back back charge. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> back charge for you. <sighs> cannot Small pay me bread. Cannot pay me bread or noodles. What you want to cut to short, right? Yeah, so this is the this is why this this is the what would you like to remember for after you have died? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine like go to visit your yeah. you know, column barrier and then your, your little urn just says go away. <laughs> Why are you here? 
I really don't think uh, that I will be waiting there for people to come and visit me, you know? Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit, I don't know. Do you, do you like have to make an appointment what? with people? A bit stupid, right? Then you have to like sit there and wait. Then you don't know when you're... No, but why are you waiting for? You can you can just go around. I mean, you are no, free. No, if they do come to visit, right? then how? I don't know. I'm going to go south. I'm going to yes, be... I leave specific instructions. Like you can only visit me on this date. <laughs> at this time. <laughs> so I know where to be at the place. So I'm making a coffee date, you know? Mm. Okay. Do we have one last question? Coffee date or coffin date? I also mm. can. <laughs> coffee date with <sighs> the coffin. Yeah, we have one last question. Mm. I thought we were open with it though, but it's okay. <laughs> Why is the question? Oh no. Yeah. Ah, yeah it's not a difficult one, la, but I didn't prepare you guys, so I don't know whether you have anything there to show. Or not. Oh, okay. Okay, show mm. and tell. Okay. Yeah. What personal projects are you working on? Personal projects. Oh, but I already showed mine. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> okay, this five towel. It's a eco dyed towel that uh, Debbie gave me. She gave me a few. Yeah. You show. What else? I think I might be working on one other thing. Then, then I can say that you showed mine also, ma. What kind of rubbish? Cause, cause you showed my eco dyed towel, ma. What kind of I pre pre worked on this towel. <laughs> I pre worked on this towel. No, I don't have any other. Hmm. I can show. You, I can show something that Debbie did though that I, I enjoyed. Yeah, so she's helping me answer the question. Very good. Okay, yeah. very good, very good. Continue. She made she made <laughs> she made this. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I think it's cardi uh, very paper. long ago. I, I mean cardi it's very long ago. Yeah. Yeah, so it's cardi paper. And it's got our, our logo on it. And then it's got like different words on it. So it's faith, hope and love. And then she says I can complete the bag also. Oh. But I'm thinking it's just one sided time deal to it. Then I'm thinking since she only did this first square, then I can do Inktober twenty twenty Inktober Tangle twenty twenty two on the rest of the so square. So small. Yeah yeah. So small. I think can eh. How Susan, draw, what do you think? You draw can fit or not? You draw very big there. You know. Fair enough. How many pages there? One, two, One, two three, three, four. four. But no, no, no it's not that it's she draws she, she, mind, okay, point. then we do on the back. <laughs> my point right is that she draws very large. Okay, then I'll draw extra small for this, okay? Okay, yeah. I want to see. Mm, see I want to see too. Do you use zero mm. 01? Or is it zero 05? Where? Where is this one? I think it's a zero zero 005. Eh. Wow. <laughs> okay, change your because, 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 <laughs> big, 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 because Because, right, it's cardi paper, so it's very bumpy. Oh, then I, I felt thought... that the zero 01 didn't... Uh, Go so the, the 01 didn't work very well. And I actually, the irony is that the 005 worked better. I so I think that one is a 005. I don't even know whether I own a 005. Yeah, but you yeah, have mine. a 003. <laughs> Why do I have a 003? Oh yeah, because of... I think CCC. there's a 005 on my table uh, yeah. in office. Don't take yours. So you can have that but don't, don't, don't make yourself suffer for the 003 lah. <laughs> yeah, you zero zero five. No, I I, you I think it's not her suffering. It's the zero three. The pain, suffering. yeah, the pain. Yeah, yeah. I'm dying. The pain will commit suicide by <laughs> going into it. No, <laughs> don't don't work anymore. Hide hide inside the shell. Yeah. Hide inside the shell. No, it's not the, the, the shell, but it's inside the the So funny. <laughs> Mm. Susan, what projects you currently working on? Personal, trying personal to to tint tint a lot of tiles so that I can draw on it. Tint using yeah. it? Uh, magical. Is it is yeah. it just for like enjoying? Cut. Or is it? Uh, for, for like... enjoying, then also maybe at the same time I can give it to our friends as a card. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 
Do you have the habit of sending out Christmas cards? Last time I have, but I think in this, in the past 10 years, I didn't send out. No, past 10 years, so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last time I did send out. I I, I like to handmade card. Uh, not drawing last time because I still haven't know Zentangle. So what I did is the handcraft instead of drawing. Debbie, you le? What have you been up to? Actually, I also like to make cards. Eh? But I, I'm i very slow. Ah. I cannot make more than one oh. at a time. Oh, oh I, I, got, I got reminded of something Debbie made. She, oh, I need to slow up. She gave me so, so I'm very lucky. She's just going to show me everything that I've been doing. Yeah, she, she made this pouch. <laughs> and then she, she sewed this little gradient heart on it. So, I, I, I've been keeping my... Actually, actually I wanted to inside. sew more things. She had to sew my her. initials on it. But, but my nerve pain was so bad that mm. I could only manage this tiny heart. And actually, for the people who know me uh, before I joined uh, Sand Forest, right? I, I'm more of a crafter than an artist, you know. So, mm. actually, I miss crafting very much. But with my hands now, I cannot also hold she my pliers. Yeah, she don't know how good her grip would be. Did she say she yeah. can try? I didn't have time to try, though, recently. Mm. Uh, although my pliers are here at home. Oh, okay. It's just that I brought them back, I think. Um. Okay. Yeah, I brought it back. But but for Stephanie's birthday present, right, I could only manage to do that. So I so when her precious, mom said, right? "Why I don't have?" I'm like, "I'm sorry, cannot." Because because my mom's birthday. Is you want? I can give you the my... blank one. <laughs> I can give you the. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. the blank one for you. Okay. Yeah yeah. Then you own self with so. Yeah. Actually, I think mom... she wouldn't mind that. Oh. No, but she my mom mind. doesn't. My mom doesn't really sew. My uh, my mom my mom sew. She doesn't embroider. I'm the one that usually embroiders things. So it's quite interesting. Yeah, but she can if she wants lah. That's what I mean lah. I just can. can't do it for her. I, you I do. I do a hard for her. <laughs> ah, okay lah. You do. I do. You do. Yeah. Outsource to you. Yeah. Yeah. So so recently um so this week I did a TTKIC prompt. It's an hourglass string and I just cannot get the hourglass out of my drawing, you know? So, uh, and then I made a mistake. Anyone you know what the mistake is? You add colour to it. Actually, it's not colour. Eh. It's just, it's just um, I used the wrong thing to shade. So I was supposed to use shade? graphite, but I took my black ink tens instead. Yeah, nobody will know lah. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but you see, now, now it's water activated. <laughs> So I decided that I, I won't post it in the group. I will post it, but I will not uh, so break the group rules. Because cannot pass. So, which means that they can only use graphite. Yeah, that group, that group is uh, fully black and white graphite. Mm. Cannot use white jelly roll. So I, I already... Yeah, I cannot use... So, so be, be, because I use Intense, right? And then already ruined me. Cannot send in, right? So, I use White Jelly Rolls. You're like, ah, forget it. <laughs> if not, I cannot pass also. I go in, cannot kick out also, I think. What the... Oh, la, okay. I don't think... I don't think she'll kick you out. They'll, they'll kick the post out. <laughs> okay, yeah, kick the post oh, out. That's true. <laughs> yeah. No need, yeah. I think no need. Yeah. I'll just pass... Then, you can make uh, okay, I still... Huh? Huh? You can make one for the If I make another one, then it come out like that also. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not. Because the string... Um, I don't think I'll do another one this week. Uh. Maybe next week I will see what the prompt is. Okay, let me see what other tiles I have here. They are half done. Okay, I'm gonna briefly show... Uh, it's a personal project, but I actually am teaching a class at CCTAE. Uh, along this team, I won't say why it is. Yeah, so, like so two dancing this is... chickens. <laughs> nah, nah. Got vegan <laughs> friendly <laughs> option. <laughs> You're not gonna eat them. They're just performing for your entertainment. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, this one. You <laughs> two boys with unwashed hair pressing their face. What the heck? Do you see? Do you see? Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so, so this is one of my personal projects. Uh, this is actually magical. It's not uh, purple cabbage. 
Uh, although it looks <laughs> like <laughs> so proper. <laughs> yeah, that that is another one or uh, with the same. Why are you all laugh at me, ah? Uh? It's not purple cabbage. <laughs> was like, yeah, it's not purple. Cabbage. Yeah, so I'm using cabbage so often. One of the <laughs> same idea. Uh, this one is so also fun. magical, of course. Yeah, this one is the uh Saint Cuthbert's Mill sample paper. I think it's Milford. Yeah, I think it's Milford. And it's very bumpy. It's like, kind of like, uh, it's cold pressed, so it's very bumpy. But it's not as bumpy as the Cardi. Uh. Uh, and then, and then I have, what else do I have? Uh? Yeah, so I have like, a few swaps that are going out. I think they are already on my Instagram. I have... Personal projects. Uh. Oh, I recently don't really have time. Eh. Yeah. yeah, recently just very busy. Uh, well, basically, it's the stuff that you see on my Instagram is what I've been up to. I don't really have any others that are not. Mm. So, so right? with, with that as a segue, if you would like to see Debbie's... <laughs> Personal project. Oh, I, I started I started this in my sketchbook, right? What's Thinking that? of lavender fuse. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a watercolor. But I haven't activated it. And then I draw halfway, right? Then I got very tired, then I stopped. <laughs> it's a small part of the lavender fuse. <laughs> then after that, when I look at it again, right? I'm like, is it because I've got nerve pain, it looks so wobbly? New scribbly lavender. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that was the look I wanted. So it's like kind of ironic, right? What, is it not pain or style? is it? <laughs> yeah. So enough pain or is it my style? No, or, or is it like trying to be artistic, you know? So funny. Yeah, yeah. Check out check out Debbie's um, art on Instagram at tangled.pursuits. Susan is at susanyo.czt I am at has pen underscore. Oh yeah. Control. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I found this. So this was the project pack 18. Mm, translucent right, style. Transparent one. I did another one. Oh, coloured one. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Oh god. I got a little um, burn. Yeah, so this one is koi brush. And then I sort of uh, muted the color. No? So it's green and grey, right? This mm. one is actually uh also green and uh red and orange. Oh, but green. it's not as blended. So this is green, the leaf is green, this one is blue. So mm-hmm. actually I because next week I'm hosting Tea and Tangle uh Wing Front. Mm. She the uh, I'm going to do this as a sample. Nice. Yeah, so this is my sample for next week's uh, Tea and Tango. So yeah. I saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I already put up wing front, um, the, the. I put a wheel up. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. So if you'd like, if you'd like to join our group, 7 and 5 bar challenge on Facebook, you can search 7 and 5 bar challenge to indirectly in your Facebook search bar. FB7F5R. Yeah, recording of today's session will be made available on our Instagram and also on our YouTube channel. Do you want to talk about your tiles before we close for today's session? Mine looks very empty. Eh? <laughs> then you got like a random hourglass tile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so cute. Then people think, oh, I'm very hardworking. Got to <laughs> shut oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nice. Are you planning on filling the entire also. thing? What do I do wrong? I, huh? The what hourglass do... is uh. Oh, <laughs> wrong, right? Yeah. I thought I thought your towel do wrong. I will scared me. Are you gonna fill in the entire towel, or is it just going to be like a? I'm thinking of putting in a wash seat, eh? Hmm. So like maybe maybe using a towel just to put in yeah. a wash seat. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So eco dye. What do you use for shading? I haven't shaded yet. Eh. Oh, it looks shaded already. Eh. <laughs> because it's so dark. It nice. is purple cabbage. Oh, it's purple cabbage. Nice. Yeah. I haven't shaded anything yet. I might, um, to make it more, like, um, probably add some pink to it to make it purple. Hmm. Yeah, but it's all purple cabbage. I haven't gotten to shading yet. That's how slow I am. All purple cabbage. <laughs> yeah. Susan? It's the type. <laughs> What about you? How many of your three tiles do you get done? Oh, I managed to do the two tiles, but this one is not yet completed. 
This is the one. Uh, yeah, also the wasit. Oh, everyone did wasit <laughs> today. It's all Lorera inside. Wow, all yeah. the mono tango with the the white jewelry. Then the I use the gold, uh, metallic gold as mm-hmm. well. And the grey jewelry roll. Uh, so it's kind of, I like this kind of feel. Then I do some the shading using the graphite. And mm. yeah. Do then the this is the, the, the. I think you need to one. photograph it. Because uh, on screen, right, it looks like a bit more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, it's also quite more. It's just very soft <laughs> kind of <laughs> color. <laughs> I draw very more. Also. Mm, very more. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is it, the, the second got, house that I the saw. The heart got eyelashes. Oh no, it's not heart. Yeah. <laughs> the what? The heart. The heart shape got eyelashes. <laughs> the heart shape eyelashes. They went to very fancy eyelashes. eyelashes. Uh, lash, lash, lash bar. It, looks, it looks like a pair of lips. A lips. Pair of lips. Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. Yeah, like heavy lips. The one that. Then another is, is like a coconut tree. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Where a funny towel, I think. Huh? This is a Lorera. The eyelash is Lorera. The <laughs> okay, then this is also a Lorera, right? Very good. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. Oh. I also laugh when I draw this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay now I haven't finished it. Mm-hmm. Then for my Tao, I did um, Symphony first, and then I had Fragments of Flovera. And then I added this little sort of triangle fragments to it. So I copied that over over to this side. So these two fragments also have that triangular kind of shape. And then this is Bar Tumble, if I'm not wrong. So this is my uh, three lines, three parallel lines. And then I add an extra one just so that it's two and then one in the middle. And then my what seats, the bar tumble sort of became a ribbon that went outwards. And then my fascinator, I added puffs and then made them white color so that the fascinator stood out a little more. Shading was done using my set of watercolors. These are a mix of Winsor and Newton and also, um, what is the brand? It's not peerless. It's another, another brand, I can't remember, sorry, off the top, I can't remember, but yeah, it's a mix of them, and then this is Ganzai Tambi Gold, but I didn't use it. Is this Ming? No. This is what? It's Ming. No, I don't think it's Ming. Mm, it's a smaller brand, not a well-recognized brand. Anyways. <laughs> it's not Ganzai Tambi, no. No, it's not. And then this background. one is Ganzai Tabi, the one you're holding. The, the one, gold the, the one. gold one, yes, the gold one I'm holding. Yes, yes. But the small ones are not. Ganzai Tabi's pens are all large, even they are. Uh, no, a Winston Newton, eh? Winston Newton, yes, some of them are. Some. Winston and Newton? Yeah, some of I them are. I remember buying some for you. Yeah, some of them are Winston and Newton. Like the uh, not fully filled pens, and then this purple is the one that Debbie bought for me. I didn't yeah. know Susan would be going to the office today. I, I didn't go. No, I didn't go. Account. She sent. I didn't go. She sent. Oh, she I get someone. Mm. Grab food. Mm. And, and, because and, I got. And, and I have training in the morning. Susan, something also. So maybe later on when Susan is free, she has to go and pick up. Mm. So mm. Susan, okay. See you soon. <laughs> and, uh, see you. We hope we hope to see you you guys soon too. Yeah, today there's a um, recap. We use a string with two, three parallel lines. I cannot remember how to spell parallel. I had to go and Google it. And we use my ah. Tango Lovera. <laughs> we use... Oh my god. <laughs> we use my Tango Lovera. So yeah. Well, lovely Tango. Uh, please post your tiles in the 7 and 5 bar challenge group on Facebook. Or use the... Parallel. 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 Yeah, parallel. Parallel. That's how you spell it. Uh. Parallel. Parallel. <laughs> Is it double oh, R? Yes. <laughs> No, it's one R. But yeah, else, see, so I got confused. Yeah, so yeah. Use the hashtag 7 and 5 R challenge if you're posting it. Do you write parallel? So <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness. And if you're not scared off of our nonsense, uh, we'll actually be streaming uh, on Instagram. 
on the twenty ninth of August this coming Monday, two forty five PM. And we hope to see you then. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.